Carving letter Terranum Nuncius is in many ways a kind of descendant of a body of work where an utterance, often an utterance from the past, becomes like the central image in the world. The recipient remains an unknown other. So unknown and so afar that it's almost inconceivable because the, the recipient, intended recipient, remains an interstellar alien. The images that sit on the table are essentially the images that were brought together by Frank Drake and Carl Sagan um, as a summary and evidence of our existence on this planet. So the painting actually begins with a kind of drawing of a grid. Um, it's drawn with a watercolor pencil and thus while the grid sort of provides some kind of a stability and an order, the very act of drawing itself kind of disrupts the line and thus the smudges and spears that happen when you kind of draw itself leads to a certain kind of a subtle nebulous abstraction that becomes like a starting point for me to start thinking of an image. And of course ellipses didn't begin as a single painting. It all began almost like little islands of abstraction. Um, many of which had begun parallelly while other paintings began, got completed and moved on. These remained almost like little uh, gestures that really hadn't found a full completion or a full cycle. And I guess it took some time for me to realize that all of these were kind of coming together as a single accordion. So how do you think of evolution in, in, in a long arc? And I think in, in covering letter Terranum Nuncius too, I think, the possible journey of this entire message well beyond our own extinction, I think really makes us think about our time here. And I think it also opens up this question about how do you speak to the unknown? How do you speak to the afar? And that I think should make it a lot easier for us to speak to the one that's closer to us.